Hello children. So today we are going to start a new topic that is components of food, which is of class six topic that is components of food. So food we eat, we eat different types of food. What food you eat? You eat rice, chapati, dal, vegetables. Then you also eat curd, pickles. Okay, some fermented food also you eat such as idli, dosa, okay, appam, uttapam. So, uh, different food items you consume, okay. So, why we consume different food items? What this food give us? The food give us energy, we know that. It helps in our growth and development, okay. So, these are this is the role of food and also it protects us from various diseases. Okay, so uh, for the proper maintenance and development of our body, we require food and for the energy purpose, we require the food. Okay, so what does this food consist of? What components are present in this food? So that we are going to learn in this chapter. Okay, so what are the different components this different food items contain, contains? What are the components present in this different food items? So, these food items are rich in different food components such as carbohydrate, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals. Then there is a dietary fibers and water. Okay. So, there are different, you can say, the, the uh, you can say the different food components are present, okay, in the food. So, one by one, we are going to discuss each and every food components in detail in this chapter. Okay. So, first, we want to check whether these food items are present or not in the food. So, we will check by certain test. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. So, first we will start the test by test of carbohydrates. So, first we will test for the carbohydrate in food. Whether in our food the carbohydrate is present or not. So, there are different type of carbohydrates. Okay. Glucose is also a type of carbohydrate. It is the simplest form of carbohydrate. So, most common carbohydrate which is found in food is the starch. Okay. So, starch is the basic you can say the most common carbohydrate found in the food. So, we can test the starch. Any food material you, took, you take, whether it is cooked or the raw, okay. And in that food material, you add iodine, okay. Some drop of iodine. And if that food substance, uh, here in this case, there is potato we have taken. So, we have cut the potato and in that we have added a drop of iodine. So, this iodine has turned the uh, iodine is yellowish in color. Okay. So, if it comes in contact with the starch, it turns bluish black. Okay. Bluish black. This indicates the presence of starch. So, this test you can do in different food products. Okay. You can use rice flour, wheat flour. Okay. Then milk you can take. So, different food substance you can take and you can check the iodine test. You can do the iodine test and you will get the presence of starch is present or not. You will come to know if the food substance turn bluish blank. So, the, there is a presence of starch in that. Okay, starch in that food substance. Next, you can uh, find the how you can check the protein is present or not. You can take some pulses, okay. You can grind it, crush it and make a fine powder or make a paste of it and add some water in it and that paste in that you add the two solution. One is the copper sulfate solution, dilute copper sulfate, copper sulfate and next is sodium hydroxide dilute sodium hydroxide okay so this two solution you take okay and first you add two drops of copper sulfate solution and then you add 
four uh, ten drops of sodium hydroxide solution in the in the sample, and if the sample turns violet, violet in color, it means there is a presence of protein in that food some sample food substance. If it does not turn violet, it is blue only. It is blue in color because the color of the copper sulfate is blue. Okay, so if it is blue, blue in color, so it is. It is the protein is absent in that. Okay, protein is absent in that food substance. Now, how you can test the fat? Now, you take the any food substance. Okay, uh, suppose take a groundnut. Okay, groundnut seed. Okay, and take a paper in the paper. Paper put groundnut seed and crush it. Okay, crush it and fold the paper in, on it, and uh, open the paper. Remove the groundnut. That powder which you have crushed, you uh, remove it, and you observe the paper. If the paper is having this patch, oily patch, so there is a presence of oil that is fats in that food substance. If it is sometimes water is also present in some food. For example, some fruits you will take and you will do with the paper. So there is water also. Okay. So uh, what you will do? And you want to check the oil is present or not. So you keep the paper for a while, and uh, as the water is present, if the water is present, it will be dried. It will be evaporated. So whatever oil is there, that will be remaining in that paper. So you will come to know that oil is present or not. Okay. So uh, that with this paper test, okay, with using this paper test, you can do for the test of fats. Okay, for the test of fats, you can use the paper. Okay, very simple test it is. So you can test the fats. So here we have learned how we can check the three components of food. Very best, very basic component of food such as carbohydrate, proteins, and fats. There are also tests for vitamins and minerals, which is not there in your chapter. But these three tests you can perform to check the presence of that component of food. So, other than carbohydrate, fats, and protein, what other components are present? Such as vitamins, minerals, dietary fibers, water. Okay. So, these are the different components present. Now, what these components are called as? This carbohydrate, proteins, and fats. Okay. They help our body. Okay. To grow, repair, develop. Okay. Fight against infection, prevent from disease. So, this substance are called as the nutrients, are called as the nutrients, okay. So, what does this nutrients do to our body? Which nutrient do what function, okay. So, first let's start with the carbohydrate. So, there are, if we uh, divide the food, this components of food into three groups. So, there are energy giving food, there is a body building food. And there is a protective foods. Okay. So, these are the different categories of food. So, energy giving food are the carbohydrate and fats. Okay. Then, what is the body growth, body building fruit, fruit uh, food? It is the proteins. It builds the body. Okay. Uh, proteins, vitamins, minerals. Okay. So, these are body building foods. Some amount of vitamins and minerals are also necessary for the bodybuilding. Okay. And also for the repair, protective foods. So, for protective foods also, proteins, vitamins and minerals are essential for the body. Okay. Then there are roughage. It it What does the roughage do? It helps in elimination of undigested food from our, our body. Okay. How does it help? Because it is undigested. So, it makes our, uh, it makes the stool, okay, bulky. And hence, it is easier to uh, remove or ingest, ingest the undigested food. Water also helps in uh, digestion, okay. It helps, it also provides nutrition, such as it helps in digestion, it helps in absorption of food after digestion. What is digestion? It is breaking down of food, okay, into simpler molecules. This carbohydrate is a complex molecule. Protein is a complex molecule. Fat is a complex uh, molecule. So, to break down it, 
we require water also and also certain enzymes we require so uh, with the help of that the digestion is performed in our digestive system and also after digestion absorption is performed so for absorption the water is also essential and for the elimination of waste product also from the body we require water okay so carbohydrate provide energy fats also provide energy fats provide energy more than the carbohydrate okay more than carbohydrate fats provide energy suppose you are taking 10 gram of carbohydrates so it will provide uh, 4 kilo calorie of energy and same 10 gram of fats you will take it will provide 9 kilo calorie of energy okay so uh, the energy pro provide is uh, in fats is more okay then proteins needed for the growth our body building needed for our growth and repair of our body okay whatever tissue cells are damaged to repair it we require protein okay so repair of our body vitamins protects our body against disease several disease it protects our body minerals they help in growth maintenance and development of body okay then roughage it helps in elimination of undigested food from the body water helps in digestion absorption and elimination of waste from the body so that we have discussed earlier okay now what are the sources of this nutrients okay what are the source of this nutrients what are the source of carbohydrate which food substance we have to consume in order to get carbohydrate to our body which substance which we ha we have to consume for getting fats for getting proteins for getting vitamins for getting minerals that we are going to discuss now okay so for carbohydrate we uh, we consume we can consume cereals then bread is rich in carbohydrate milk is rich in carbohydrate sugar and jaggery okay banana and sweet potato or any roots okay uh, the foods food which is having root uh, root okay uh, the roots which we consume as a food okay so that is also rich in carbohydrate for example sweet potato okay next is the fats okay so fats we get from eggs avocados sardines pistachios okay walnuts almonds oil any oil groundnut oil sesame oil mustard oil sunflower oil these are rich in fats then butter okay different butter are rich in fats peanut butter okay these are also rich in fats and normal butter which we get from the dairy products that is also rich in fats then cheese okay ghee these are also rich in fats okay now sources of proteins in food so proteins we get in vegetarian we get proteins from the pulses all the pulses can you see here moon beans legumes okay hemp seed lentils uh then different uh, you can say tofu paneer paneer is also rich in uh, rich in uh, proteins okay then pumpkin seeds soy milk okay chia seeds oats okay whole grains these are rich in proteins in uh, meat meat is usually rich in protein so you, almost all type of meat okay egg including egg are rich in proteins okay so for proteins you can consume these food okay to obtain more and more proteins then sources of vitamins now there are different types of vitamins in our uh, in our body needs okay and in food in any food vegetables fruits there are different types of vitamins are present okay so uh, vitamin a there is vitamin a there is vitamin b vitamin vitamin a vitamin b vitamin c vitamin d and they have different role in our body vitamin a is helps to keep our eyesight good 
okay it also helps in our growth okay growth and development also and also it acts like a protective foods and it is also it is also called as retinol retinol why because it keeps our retina it have certain components okay certain substance which which uh, protects our retina which keeps our retina healthy okay so uh, so our eyesight is good okay our eyesight is good because of that so vitamin a is useful for keeping our eyesight good okay so what are the food source rich in vitamin a so there are eggs and cheese avocados meat of course broccoli mangoes okay yellow food which is there yellow and red these are rich in uh, vitamin a bell peppers carrot carrot is rich in vitamin a papaya is rich in vitamin a melon okay uh, then squash okay peaches apricots sweet potato so these are the different food substance fish so these are the different food substance rich in vitamin a okay then vitamin b it is found in cereals okay certain cereals then peanut legumes also it is found okay rice wheat okay non vegetarian food also mutton eggs wheat germ okay then legumes peanut we have mentioned that so this is rich in vitamin b now vitamin b function is what it is uh, carry out various enzyme reaction okay it helps our body various enzymes to function okay it helps makes the enzymes to function so various vitamin b is required for the enzyme to function then there is vitamin b12 which is very much essential for the formation of our blood okay in our blood vitamin b12 is very much essential so uh, there are different types of vitamin there are eight different types of vitamin b so it is called as a vitamin b complex okay milk is also there okay so milk is also rich in vitamin b okay almost all vitamins are present in milk okay so uh, so vitamin b helps in growth development and also to carry out various enzyme reaction provides energy to the body okay if the enzyme reaction will carry out then only the energy will be produced so it provides energy it keeps the cells healthy okay so cell growth cell maintenance so all this function are related to vitamin b okay vitamin c is the protective food okay it protects it prevents from various disease and it keeps our immune system healthy okay so it increases our immunity okay it prevents prevents infection prevent us from infection okay or protects us from infection not prevents we can say protects from infection okay then vitamin d it helps in our bone development okay vitamin d help in bone development bone development okay what are the food source rich in vitamin c so there is with spinach tomato chili pepper broccoli potato uh, then orange all citrus food is rich in vitamin the food which is sour in taste is rich in vitamin c okay so vitamin c cranberry okay strawberry okay spinach tomato these are rich in vitamin c okay what are the food source rich in vitamin d so it is the meat okay meat milk milk is rich in vitamin d egg is rich in vitamin d then paneer is rich in vitamin d curd okay so these are the different food substance rich in vitamin d okay now minerals are also essential for our body it helps in growth maintenance and development of our body okay so maintenance and development for this various organs various 
things are formed in our body. For that, the minerals are required in our body. Okay. So various hormones are formed. Blood as blood is formed. Okay. Then bone development is taking place. So different uh, for different development purpose, we require min minerals also. So iodine rich food. Iodine is the mineral which is required in our body. Okay. So it is kidney beans. It is rich in vitamin, uh, not vitamin. It is rich in mineral iodine. Lentils is rich in iodine. Spinach is rich in iodine. Figs are rich in iodine. Soya bean is rich in iodine. Oats, potatoes. Okay. Almonds, almonds, uh, then pumpkin seeds. Okay. So these are different food rich in iodine. Okay. Then there are another nutrient, a mineral which is essential for our body is the phosphorus. So phosphorus is found in banana, apple, kiwi. Okay. Meat, some meat. Then uh, the chilies, broccoli, uh, then cabbage, different food substance and the dry fruits, walnut, all these things are rich in phosphorus. Okay. Then uh, the another phosphorus is important for our bone development. What is the importance of iodine? Iodine is, is important for our thyroid gland development. Uh, our body development. So iodine helps in maintaining our thyroid gland to function properly. So thyroid gland it performs the function of pro it performs the function of providing the hormones to our body that is thyroxine. Okay. And that hormone maintains our body metabolism. Okay. So that, that is the importance of iodine. Okay. So next is the iron. Important mineral that is iron. So iron is, we all know it is important for our blood cells formation. RBC cells require, RBC is red in color because of iron pigment. So, iron is important for our blood formation. So, which food is rich in iron? Egg, meat, pumpkin seeds, apple, spin, uh, you can say spinach. Then, different food substances are rich in iron. Okay? Uh, beetroot and all, all those things are also rich in iron. Okay. Next is the calcium. Okay, calcium. So, calcium is what purpose it is required in our body for the bone development. Okay, for the formation of bone, for the development of bone, we require calcium. And also vitamin D. Calcium, phosphorus, vitamin D. So, these are the different nutrients required for the bone development. Okay. So, uh, these are the different uh, you can say the role of nutrients and the sources of the different nutrients. Now, balanced diet. What is balanced diet? Now, we should e eat the food in a balanced quantity, balanced amount. Okay, not too much, not too low. Okay, it should be balanced. And the proportion should also be balanced. For example, we should eat more carbohydrate-rich food. Okay. Fats give energy, but we should not eat more fats because it increases the cholesterol also in our body, cholesterol. So it is not, and also it leads to the obesity. So fats is not that good. It is, though it is energy giving food, but it is not good to consume more fats. So each and every food substance, their consumption, it should be in a accurate, proper proportion. Okay. So, grains. Grains we should consume more. Okay. Then we should consume vegetables more. Okay. Vegetables. These are the protective foods. These are maintaining our body. It helps in growth. Protects. Prevents from various disease. Okay. Rich in antioxidants. Then fruits are rich in antioxidants. And also it protects, develop and maintain our body. 
serials grain pulses okay this grains and pulses grains include what serials and pulses so it helps in maintenance repair give energy and helps in body building so this should be consumed in more quantity then vegetables and fruits should be consumed in the second more second la uh, large quantity you can see large quantity should be this then second large should be this then meat should be consumed lesser than that okay vegetables why more because vegetables also contain fibers what fibers dietary fibers okay this dietary fibers are called roughage okay so they are rich in roughage okay so it helps in elimination of undigested food from our body okay then dairy products milk alternatives that you should consume and then less least you should consume fat oil salt and sugar this you should consume the least so this is balanced diet so balanced diet it is for the ordinary person this for kind of diet but it varies from person to person on the basis of their age then on the basis of their occupation what occupation they do do they do more physical activity more laborious work or very less laborious work sedentary work so it depending on that it balance diet differs from person to person okay now there are different deficiency disease cause if we consume less vitamin certain vitamins and minerals are less in our body or any food substance which is less in our body it leads to certain deficiency disease okay so what are the uh, deficiency disease occurs when we consume less vitamin a so there is a loss of vision okay and what are the symptoms we can see poor vision loss of vision in darkness sometimes complete loss of vision so these are the symptoms which leads to vitamin a which is because of vitamin a deficiency okay if this symptoms you are observing so there is a chances that you are consuming less vitamin a in your food okay then weak muscle and very little energy to work it is the disease called as beriberi okay loss of vision is also called as night blindness we can say light night blindness okay this is because of vitamin a deficiency then beri beri what is this disease beri beri weakening of muscle very little energy less energy so vitamin b i have told you it give us energy okay so vitamin b is less so less energy so that's why we should consume vitamin b rich food also then scurvy it leads if if the symptoms is bleeding gums wounds take longer time to heal so there is a chance that there is less vitamin c in the body okay in your food in your food you are consuming less vitamin c which is food rich in vitamin c so all citrus fruit such as lemon orange okay all these things tomato these are rich in vitamin c the food which is sour in taste are rich in vitamin c okay so consume vitamin c for to prevent the disease scurvy okay then vitamin d if it is less it leads to rickets okay bones become soft and bent okay it becomes soft the ending of the bones become soft and it is very painful it pains because when you move the hand friction occurs between two bones so there is a pain so that is the rickets so bones become soft and they bend okay that is because of vitamin d deficiency how we can obtain vitamin d from different food source and also from our natural source of light that is sunlight okay in sunlight presence of sunlight our skin synthesize vitamin d in our body so that is also called as a sunshine vitamin okay sunshine vitamin vitamin d is also called as sunshine vitamin it is also present in different food egg milk okay yogurt all this thing food okay dairy foods it is present okay then calcium the minerals very important mineral is the calcium 
If it is less, so what happens? Bone then to decay takes place. So what is the symptoms? Weak bones to decay is the symptoms. Okay. So calcium is less in the body. Then if it is iodine is less, what it leads to goiter. Goiter is what? The swelling of this throat region takes place. It swells. So why it swells? Because the glands in the neck become swollen. Mental disability in the children are also found if the iodine is less. Okay. So, iodine should also be consumed in a proper quantity, okay, in our diet. Then, iron. Iron is very important. If, if there is weakness, there is a chances that you have a iron deficiency. If there is less iron, so there is less hemoglobin. Less hemoglobin. So, hemoglobin is what? It is the pigment present in our blood, okay. Why our blood is red in color? It is because of hemoglobin. So, hemoglobin is formed with the help of iron. Okay, it's formed with the help of iron. If there is less hemoglobin, it leads to the condition called anemia. It leads to the condition called anemia, where there is hemoglobin content is less. Okay, so in order to get again, you have to... Uh, Again, you have to recover from this disease. You have to start consuming the food which is rich in all these vitamins and minerals. Okay, all these vitamins and minerals. So, automatically you will be recovered from the disease. Okay, or start consuming this food in order to prevent from the disease. Okay, prevent yourself from this disease. Okay, so that's that's all about the components of food, okay? So now when you consume the food, consume the food in a proper amount, in a proportionate amount, in a very good, uh, All see to that all the nutrients are present in your diet and make a, ha, ha, consume a food as a, in a balanced diet, in a balanced proportion, okay? So I hope you like this video and We'll meet in the next class. Okay. Till then. Bye-bye.